Alright guys, so uh, today I'm just going to be showing you this really, really cool card trick that you can do um, using the poker patter, I guess. You're kind of, it's not necessarily a full, a foolproof, um, you know, poker type uh, gambling cheat or whatever, but essentially what it's going to allow you to do is do a really cool uh, card trick, basically uh, using poker as the vehicle for it. So essentially here's how um, we would start off the trick. And so what you do is you tell your spectators that you're going to play poker with five hypothetical people, right? So you go ahead and you deal out five hands. That's going to be two, three to three, four. Now this will be the last hand, and then we can put the rest of the deck away. Now what you want to do is tell the spectators that here, this is going to be your pile right there, and then they can pick, they can go up to any seat, sit down, and choose whichever pile they want, right? So let's say they wanted to play with pile number three. You flip the cards over, and you can show them that if they were to play with these cards, this is basically the hand they're gonna get. So it's not that great, but it's not that bad, right? You got a queen and an ace, but really they could do a lot better. So what you wanna do is tell them that you can go ahead, you can take the piles, and what you wanna do is mix up the cards a little bit, and hopefully you can actually give them a better hand. So let's say we go ahead and shuffle the cards a little bit, mixing up the deck, mixing up the packs a little bit more. You go ahead, you take the cards up here, what you want to do is go ahead and mix the deck up a little bit like that, guys. Every card should be now in a random order. And at this point, what you're going to do is tell them, all right, so they picked seat number three, right? So we go, we deal the cards out. You guys can see the cards as they come. So if they were to sat there, you're hoping that they get a little bit of a better hand right now. Okay, so you gave them an ace, right? So you shuffle up the cards, you gave them an ace. That's not too bad. Now you've given them two aces, three aces. All right, now, so just like that, guys, you've proved to your spectator at this point that you that you actually shuffled the pack and you gave them a pretty solid hand. So you gave them a three of a kind, right? So at this point, what you want to do is tell your spectators, okay, so, you know, obviously if we're playing, you know, this is what I'd want you to have, a three of a kind, right? So at this point, they'd probably play some more money. They'd bet in because uh, if they did that as well, you forgot to uh, tell them that you went ahead and gave yourself a royal flush just like this guy. So at this point, you would have actually on the game. So here is the trick guys and if you want to learn how to do this don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. Alright guys so here's how you can end up doing uh, the trick. So you want to go ahead and here's how you want to start off. So go ahead and take out the royal flush from the deck. So you want to take out actually to make this easier just go ahead and take out the 10 jack and the king of spades as well as the other four aces. So that way we can categorize those cards a little bit better. So go ahead take those out from the deck right now. I'll give you guys some time at this point, what you want to do is take, so I'm assuming you guys have got them out, what you want to do is take out all the four, these three aces, all the four aces, put the, the order, there's a little bit of a setup, right? So you take the three aces, you put those on top of the deck, and then you take your ace of spades, and then you put that on top. And then what you want to do is you want to put the ten, the jack, and the king, and you're going to put that on top of the ace. So at this point, this is what the setup is going to look like. So from the top of the deck, you have the ten, the jack, the queen, the king, all right, and then you have the ace of spades. So these should all be together, and then you have the three aces on top as well. So in the performance, what I did was I was just talking to you guys a little bit as I was shuffling up the deck, but all I, all I was doing was leaving a fat chunk of cards on top, so that way these weren't getting mixed up. That way I had the aces on top, and they weren't getting mixed up, and neither were the other cards. So this is what you want to do. Just make sure you can shuffle up the pack making sure the spectator thinks you're mixing up the deck. And then I also did one of these. This is just a super simple overhand shuffle where it looks like the cards are getting mixed up. I'll leave a link or I might do a tutorial later on on how to do one of those. But essentially you're not mixing up the top stock of the deck and it just looks like, you know, the spectators that it's a random order. So from here you can go ahead and deal out the five cards. So you're going to go ahead and deal out, this is pile number one, two, three, four, and then your pile is going to be last right there. So this is going to be the fifth pile. And then you go ahead and you deal out until you have a pile of five. So that's three, four, no, that's three, that's four. Now we're on the last pile. So you don't want to get tripped up. Go ahead and deal out the stuff. It's hard to do that while talking, but essentially you should have, you know, you're dealing out a poker hand, so it's going to be five cards. And from here, you tell your spectators that this is going to be your pile, but you want them to go ahead and pick any pile they want. These are going to be, let's say, you tell them the chairs are open, they could have picked any seat here. They could play with any packet of cards, right? So let's say, that for example, they would have picked pile number one here. They could have picked pile number two. Literally any pile. You just don't want them picking this one. Um, 
only because at the end of the trick, this pile number five is going to be the one with the royal flush. So if they end up picking this one, then it looks like you just gave them a really good hand. Well, you could do that, but it makes a lot. It makes the trick a lot better if they were to pick one of these cards, one of these piles. They get a good pile, and they come back, and they see you have the royal flush. So make sure you just have them pick one through four. And for example, let's say they were to pick three. You show them the cards, right? It's not a big deal. And then you tell them that you're going to try and make their hand a bit better, right? So what you can do is you can pick up the cards in any fashion you want. Just don't separate them. So it doesn't matter which pot or which cards go on top of which, just like that. All right, so once you guys have picked up all the piles, and like I said before, it doesn't really matter what order you pick them up because every fifth card is going to be um, one of the spades for that Royal Flush anyway. So it doesn't matter what order they're in. They're just going to be every fifth card. So essentially what you want to do is start off by fair shuffling the cards. And all you're going to do is break the deck in half. This way, the bottom half here is going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cards. So the bottom half, this is going to have 13. And the top half back here, this is going to have 12 cards in it. All right, so once you guys have the packet split up um, with 13 here and 12 here, what you want to do is make sure that the, the bigger packet engulfs the smaller one. So instead of like a regular Pharaoh where you have the bottom card from here on the bottom, and top card from here on top. What you want to do is make sure that um, that the uh, this bigger packet is on the top and the bottom. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. So you go ahead, toast spectators. You're going to go ahead and pharaoh shuffle the cards up a little bit. And what's going to end up happening is, as you guys can see, as you square the cards together, the bigger packet is going to be right here. This is the 13 cards. The bottom card of the 13th card is on the bottom, and the top card of the 13th card pack is on top as well. You go ahead and square this up. And it looks like you really have shuffled the pack, but in reality, you've just set it up for yourself. And so then from here, you go ahead, you deal out the packets again. This is going to be theirs. That's the third pile. You go ahead, you deal out all the cards here. And you can deal their package uh, face-ups this way. They know where to keep track of it. And at this point, you have actually dealt them that three of a kind with the three aces. And they, you know, obviously from here, they're going to be pretty impressed. But then at this point, you guys, you can just snap your fingers and show them that you have the Royal Flush to yourself. So this is basically the trick, guys. Um, hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and um, as always, thanks for watching.